Can you talk about food allergies a little bit and how those might be different than, than the, the uh, airborne allergies that we've been talking about? Okay, the food allergies are exactly the same thing, which means the uh, macrophage, monocyte, and dendritic cells, the visa allergies, so the white blood cells, see that as dangerous for you mm -hmm. if you're going to get food allergies. They pick it up, they show that to the Superman that I talked about. Mm -hmm. This time he goes to a form that signal to the bomb making guy, it's called B cells. And the bomb making guy makes IgE or IgG against the food. So once that is made, it doesn't just explode that bomb. It has to attach to these other two cells. And those cells are the ones that are going to release the histamine. So suppose a child has peanut allergy or he's going to get a peanut allergy. The first time the child is exposed to peanut or the mother while nursing, she eats peanut, that this child is going to be sensitized, which means it goes to the bloodstream and then the, the child is prone to, to a, a react. Mm -hmm. So in about age one, I call it the peanut baptism because the parents don't feed their children peanut until probably age one. And then they start giving them peanut, or accidentally they give them peanut, boom, big reaction. Why? Because they have been sensitized through the breast milk or other ways, other forms, and the allergy cells are primed waiting. Now, when the child eats the peanut, it goes through the bloodstream and attaches the peanut protein, attaches to those bombs, IgE bombs that are already there, and then a cross-linking occurs, boom, big, massive explosion, the uh, histamine is released, tons of histamine released. It causes itching, so they get hives, they can get facial swelling, also a vasodilate, so it opens up the blood vessels. When the blood vessel is open, then some blood is not going to the head, it pulls down, and then people can pass out. That's why we give them the EpiPen. Mm -hmm. When you give the EpiPen, actually vasoconstrict. And so when the vessels are constricted, then you don't pass out anymore. And so that's the mechanism of the reaction. So tons of histamine release, sometimes locotren delayed reaction would be locotren that is released. And that's why when you go to the emergency room, they're gonna give them like Benadryl IV, they're gonna give them the EpiPen, or they're gonna give them epinephrine, and they give them steroids, mm -hmm. because the steroid is for covering all the bases. Mm -hmm. So antihistamines don't, really do much in those They do. Instances. So okay. so if, for instance, a child is reacting, of course you're going to give them the quick fix, which mm -hmm. is say, Benadryl. Um, liquid Benadryl, quick. Mm -hmm. And all the parents who have children with food allergy or peanut allergy or other food allergy, milk allergy, they have Benadryl with them. So every time they will react, they can give them Benadryl right away. But sometimes the Benadryl is not enough because the reaction is so massive mm -hmm. that you have to do other things, and the key is uh, in epinephrine. Mm -hmm. Why, explain this again, why can those be so much more dangerous and the reaction so much more massive, like you said, than, than just a ragweed or a pollen, pollen allergy? Pollen allergy, yeah. So the, the uh, food allergy is more violent because mm -hmm. the amount of IgE that is attached to the cells may be larger, and once that occurs, and the uh, peanut protein attaches to all these IgEs and causes these cells to explode, and they, <clears throat> they deliver a lot of IgE mm -hmm. and uh, other mediators that cause the reaction.